The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the world. Many people are looking for ways to fight the virus. But why would someone take untried and dangerous drugs instead of scientifically proven vaccines? And why would they try a drug used as a horse dewormer? This is your body on taking horse dewormer. The fight against COVID-19 has made people desperate for cures. Some people refuse to listen to science or authority, so they're looking for answers from like-minded individuals. Horse dewormer, otherwise known as ivermectin, spread on social media as the new COVID-19 cure-all. Unfortunately, this led to people taking unsafe amounts, causing serious health complications. What exactly is ivermectin? And what makes it so risky? Ivermectin is primarily used to prevent heartworm disease in some small animals and to treat parasites in livestock. It can also be prescribed in small doses to humans as an oral tablet, cream, or lotion. In humans, it's used for parasitic infections of the intestinal tract, skin, and eyes. It can also be used to treat rosacea, a skin condition that causes redness in the cheeks from visible blood vessels. So why are people taking it to prevent COVID-19? Because I feel like it. Ivermectin binds to proteins secreted by parasites to block a host's immune system. This ability made researchers consider whether it could also block the COVID-19 virus. In the spring of 2020, Australian researchers found some evidence that ivermectin could kill the virus. Other researchers found that the drug could block the virus from attaching to cells. However, all of these discoveries were in a laboratory setting and petri dishes don't have the complexity of the human body. The research was inconsistent and unreliable. And the amount of the drug required to impact the virus was much higher than the amount approved for humans. Even when taken as prescribed to treat skin and eye infections, common ivermectin side effects include hives, joint pain, and fever. When used to treat intestinal infections, patients can experience a loss of energy, vomiting, and diarrhea. Don't look at me, don't look at me. And in some cases, it can trigger a severe allergic reaction. In September of 2021, the American Society of Health System Pharmacists reported that the prescribing and dispensing of ivermectin had increased 24-fold over the previous few months. Due to this increased interest and misuse, many healthcare professionals stopped prescribing the drug. Desperate, misinformed people started taking veterinary ivermectin products. Is it dangerous? These doses are highly concentrated and seven times the dosage of human pills. They also include ingredients that may be harmful to the human body. Now, many of these people don't trust vaccines that have been vigorously tested, but are willing to take an unproven drug meant for horses and cows. Uh, okay. According to the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one man who drank an injectable form of ivermectin intended for cattle was hospitalized for nine days after suffering hallucinations, confusion, and tremors. Some symptoms of ivermectin overdose include loss of energy, shortness of breath, and the inability to control your body movements. Listen, saying something is true doesn't make it true. At Your Body On, we believe in the hard work of scientists who are fighting the COVID-19 virus. Although research 
suggests ivermectin could eventually be part of the fight against COVID. The preliminary results are inconclusive. What, is, what does that mean? The best way to fight COVID-19 is to get vaccinated, sanitize, and practice social distancing. Okay, now that you know the dangers of this horse dewormer, let's find out what happens to your body on the COVID-19 vaccine. We'll explore that on another episode of Your Body On.